Hey, this guy looks familiar. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. We got Heresy Lab miniatures in the house today. They sent us a huge box uh, earlier this year. It's basically one of everything of their line, uh, not counting all the Kickstarter stuff, which they have great Kickstarters going. They just did uh, Hades Legion. I think that stuff's up actually up on their site right now. So no matter what you're looking for in the tabletop wargaming scene, chances are they have a miniature for you. So just check out their website. It's just heresylab.com. And speaking of which, let's jump over there right now. So here it is, <laughs> heresylab.com. Poof, like magic. It's crazy. Uh, they just completed their Talon Mecha Kickstarter, which is like some dope-ass looking Terminators. Uh, check that out. They're still on uh, backer kit. You can get them on pre-order. Great looking stuff. And then in their store, they just put in all the Hades Kickstarter stuff. So great looking kind of uh, pre-heresy style stuff and lots of cool character models, which uh, with all sorts of equipment, just great looking stuff in here and some crazy tank turrets. Huh? Those, those are cool. Uh, tons of shields, tons of bits, tons of different things over there. And of course, they've got all their normal range, which we've showed you before. I mean, you've seen the assassins from their Kickstarter. You know, we, we did a special print run of them. They've got them over there. They've got all sorts of different mini. So basically just start here when you're looking for uh, an alternate mini because chances are they got something very similar to what you're looking for or they're going to lead you down the right path of what specifically you're looking for and then you're going to kind of dial it in maybe not here maybe a different company but but it's sometimes it's good just to get those hobby juices flowing you know what i mean uh, now this miniature we're going to take a look at this is the uh, celestial knight and we showed you something like this before uh from i think kabuki which i don't think exists anymore i don't, I don't know what's going on with that whatever we're not even going to talk about them but this one is about the same size it's it's honest basically a 60 mil base and i'm going to show you it positioned uh next to another miniature that you might uh recognize from 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 the past but this one here, oh, they actually got it on sale. So this was $35 uh, for this, uh, we'll call him not Emperor. <laughs> He's got two different helmet options and uh, both look great to be quite honest. But uh, it, this one I think is the one uh, most folks are gonna be going for. So he might, you know, he might be a great Counts As uh, miniature for another popular one out there that you're looking for to uh, lead your Imperial forces uh, to victory. So the stuff they sent us uh, came in these uh, clam pack uh, packagings right here, which are pretty cool looking, you know. Uh, we see a lot of stuff come through and not everybody has retail packaging as, uh, as nice as this. So we went ahead and opened up one just to kind of show you. A lot of these miniatures are gonna come in various parts. Not a, not a true multi-part kind of type deal, just kind of like whatever was uh, happening best for the miniature, so to speak. So you got like some different capes, and a headdress here. I think this is actually part of the base, scenic base, some little wing talons, and uh, two different arms. So zooming in on uh, some of the detail here, you can see it's very crisp and uh, very clean. And the uh, the assembly, for the most part, uh, depending on the model, can be pretty easy because they have a lot of slots and and tabs and things where everything kind of goes together. And it's like this. You can see there's the little tabs right there. I don't know if this goes up or down, but it. Yeah, okay, whatever. It's something like that, but you get the idea. Um, now, some of their minis, you know, have a closer look at everything because some of their stuff is a little fiddly and it's going to take a little bit more work, but for the most part, super high quality, nice and crisp. Everything goes together, but it's just, you know, we've gotten some miniatures in from them that, you know, it's going to take a little bit more work for. I won't lie to you, but overall, I mean, I'm super happy with the design and the implementation of of all their stuff, I like this little cape here on the back. That's pretty neat. Although it's dangerously close to the uh, to the thruster right there. I don't know. I don't know tactically if that's good, but uh, <laughs> I uh, I don't know. It looks good, you know. Uh, what looks good might not actually be good in real life. So that's basically how the miniatures come. So we only got one of the uh, Celestial Knights here, unfortunately. So I can't show you what it looks like unassembled, but I can tell you that, you know, it's got two different arm bits right here. Uh, the back cape is a separate bit. The torso is a bit uh, with, the, with the legs attached. This um, cockroach <laughs> is a bit. The uh, arm over here is also a bit. I think that's it. I wanna see. Oh, and there's two different heads, obviously. So you've got that head right there or this... Uh, this uh, helmeted head, which I'm going to hold up here real quick, which looks pretty cool. 
Not not exactly my cup of tea, but you know, uh, when you don't kind of uh, have anything in, in mind, then uh, you know, it looks uh, it looks about how it looks, I suppose. So this guy, you know, let the autofocus kind of catch up, and you can see it's nice and crisp. I mean, everything looks good. I imagine most people might use this uh, this head right here. Uh, the flaming sword looks dope. You know, the talon looks very very crisp. Nice nice detail on the back. I don't know if I was gonna paint this um, with the airbrush. I'd probably keep the cape off just because I could, you know, paint that red or something like that, and then it glues back on pretty easy because it attaches right there. I might not have attached that good. Ooh. Oopsie, and it looks like I missed, missed a little bit of a flash right there. Please forgive me. We were going fast. Uh, it's got little tabs and slots into the base here, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, it is uh, roughly a 60 millimeter base, I think, give or take. And then, you know, compared, like I said, to another... Uh, commander out there of the Imperium. Well, I think uh, I think you get where maybe some of the inspiration comes from. You've seen a lot of people convert this bad boy into the Emperor himself. So why not just uh, kind of go one step further and just kind of make it the Celestial Emperor Knight, not Emperor guy. <laughs> but as you can see, it stands pretty much the same height. The base is a little bit different. Um, but you know, that doesn't mean that you can't kind of, uh, put them on something else or if you really want to, or, um, something like that. But either way, uh, with auras being kind of a little bit different now in Warhammer 40k, maybe, maybe it kind of doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to do a model, lead your forces in the battle and, oh, well, it's a couple of millimeters too short on the side and it's not the same as this one or whatever. But you kind of get the idea there. You can definitely paint them up with uh, all sorts of different uh, different colors, but I imagine most folks would be doing red and gold and uh, some sick fades on that uh, that fire sword right there. So overall, I think it's great looking miniature and you know one of the more showcasey type miniatures uh, from Heresy Lab. So definitely check them out over there at heresylab.com. Uh, but before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.